WMRT News is the voice for veterans in Maryland and today we're highlighting one of the many veterans organizations in our community that helps a lot of people. WMRT News Aaron McPherson is has more on the Baltimore station this morning and how you can help them help those veterans. Aaron. Good morning, Christian. Well, the Baltimore station has been helping the homeless veterans in Baltimore since the 80s and happening this week. They have a special event where you can have a little fun and also support them. We have a community that is second to none. Veterans, of course. Roger Blackman is an Army veteran who came to Baltimore about a year ago. It's a long story. Uh, it has a lot of tragedy in it. He was having a hard time finding a place to stay. Then he learned about the Baltimore station. It takes you from an unstructured life to a structured life. Makes you responsible for your actions. The Baltimore Station is a residential and community based treatment program for homeless veterans who are recovering from chronic substance abuse or mental health. The organization had some challenges throughout the pandemic, but they made it through. Our guys have really um, been able to adapt and pivot. The big thing was to make sure that they were engaged in their treatment throughout this whole process. So we've been able to, you know, with the uh, luxury of technology, uh, we've been able to still offer all of our programming and everything um, remote. Kim Kaleri is the Director of Development and Communication. She says they rely on fundraisers to help the veterans. Last year, they had to cancel all of the ones they had planned, so they created a more COVID-friendly one out of this world movie night at Benji's Drive-In. We kind of brainstormed and said, let's try this, and it was so well received that people actually asked for us to do it again this year, so we're doing it again. It's happening Thursday night from 7 until 10, $75 a ticket for food, non-alcoholic drinks, live music, face painting, and the movie, E.T plus a chance to see where your money is going. I think what makes this one extra special too is that our men actually can or get to go to it. So they'll be helping, you know, serve food and just being able to talk to the people who actually support them. So I think it's important um, for our folks who come to our fundraisers to, to actually see and get to talk to the people that they are supporting. And all of the money raised tomorrow night will go direct, directly back here to the Baltimore station. Now, if you'd like to buy a ticket or to learn more, just head over to our website, WMAR2news.com. Live here in Baltimore, Aaron McPherson, WMAR2news.